determine if the sequence is bounded. So the easiest way to do this problem is to ask, actually do a different question. It's to actually look at the limit of the sequence because when we take the limit of a sequence, if we find out that the sequence converges, then it's automatically bounded. So you can just look at this and say, hey, this has uh, an n in the numerator. This has an n down here. They both have the same growth rate, right? This is a one, this is a one. So the limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, so two over three. So this means that our sequence a sub n converges, right? If you take the limit and you get a number, then you that means that the sequence converges. But every convergent sequence is bounded. So thus, a sub n is bounded. This is probably the easiest way um, to show that it's bounded is just to look at it and say, yeah, it converges, therefore it's bounded. Um, is this a formal proof? Um, I don't know. The, the question didn't ask. The question just said, you know, determine is it bounded? So we've done that, right? We, we can look at it. It's clear that the limit is two thirds, so it converges, therefore it is definitely bounded. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.